Okay, so on activity two, they're going to design their own flag. <laughs> I'm going to put them in groups, and they're going to decide in their group, like they're going to do a peer evaluation, and they're going to grade each other's and see what they liked about it, what they didn't, but they're, they got to be nice. <laughs> and then on their assessment and groups, the students will write about what they've learned. This is where the literacy standard comes in. And they'll answer the following questions. Who created our flag? Where is this person from? And then as a group, what are their favorite symbols and why? And they can present this in a PowerPoint, poster, whatever they want. And then I will grade their presentations according to a rubric that I have. And then these are just how they're, I'm going to incorporate these into my lesson, like the learning experiences, the field trip, um, UDL, the different ways that they can present their information and their project. Student choice, they get to make their flag, collaboration, the group work, and then we'll have our pacing guide and unit calendar at the beginning. Some home enrichments that I have is, you know, they can go home and create their own flag again, however they want to. They can do sidewalk chalk, draw the state symbols, um, virtual tours, and then coloring sheets, and some scavenger hunts. So this was my field trip. I wanted to plan a trip to the quartz crystal capital of the world, which is in Mount Ida, so they can dig their own crystals. And, you know, if we don't get to do this, we can always do a virtual field trip. They're going to be using research. I mean, I'm going to do phone calls and stuff for, like, field trip needed, social media. And then, like I said, I'm going to bring in the literacy specialists, and I'll bring in the special education teachers if needed. And this is our summative assessment. We made this test, but if we were to have a special ed or resource child in our class, we would always have a modified test, however they needed it. So. Bit alone. So we picked... Sorry. So we picked some, uh, the same map that we used in the teaser lesson for the first five questions. So it's the exact same map that they're used to that they know. So all they have to do is write the number and fill in the blank of what those first answers are. And so that's the first five questions right there. And then the second set of questions were from my lesson, and it's matching, and I just picked five random people that we talked about, and those are the answers, in case you're wondering. Okay, so the next set of questions, there's five true or false, and so the students are going to have to write either true or false in the question, and the correct answer is highlighted. And then we have multiple choice for mine. You're going to circle the best answer and only one of the answers are correct. Answers are high. <laughs> okay, and I had two of the multiple choice. And, of course, I have my answers highlighted. Then, well, actually three multiple choice. Then I have a fill in the blank and then a short answer. I mean, the answers are going to vary, but... I mean, there's a guideline that they have followed. We wanted to do different types of questions just to reach those different kids in different ways that they learned. That way, everybody has an opportunity to answer some questions on the test to the best of their ability. The end. Yeah.